Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. I was just sitting here staring at this, realizing there's a couple things that I've changed that I didn't talk about last time that happened two episodes ago before I shut down for a day to work on my my ailing computer. I did add a second layer around this. Uh, Lady Shell was suggesting it, and I was... I know I couldn't do much over here because I want to maintain pathways around. I really don't want to take out any of our inner space here since we already lose so much space on the corners. But I can add a little here. And I was able to add quite a bit over here. So two layers will, will help uh, block at least some of the heat from leaving. And I got to looking at this. We're 46 degrees and cooling down. It was 50 a little bit ago. And then I realized someone left a bunch of logs in our door. So I guess somebody got an order to go do something else about then. And I don't know who that could have been that told them to go do something else. But um, <laughs> we need to fix that one real quick. Anyway, um, Mrs. P, you are taking your time, but you're making kibble. And you're making gobs and gobs of kibble. And now you're going to eat. Of course you're going to go eat. Well, you're going to have to come up and do this first and then you can go eat so once you come and haul that away and then don't know where you're gonna haul it to but after that come grab this meal and have yourself a, a good old lunch break there oh they, okay they, they've calmed down and you got up okay <laughs> needs on uh, miss p needs some food but she's still doing fine handy is up while she's up got to thinking um at the end of last episode i got to looking at this and we are losing power quickly with all of this new load that's going on down here all these doors all these lights and i had set these guys up and i didn't get a chance to talk about them so afterward i quickly set her down here to get these working and to where are you going by the way and to mine this out right here actually tear down the walls because i want to put the the new uh, butcher benches out here so I put silver underneath, because silver seems to sterilize things, including the, uh, or not silver, but sterile tiles, um, which are made of silver, because there's so much blood over here, just like we've done underneath the cook stoves over here, to try to uh, mitigate germs and food poisonings, and we've also done in the surgery over here. So I went ahead and did that under the butcher tables as well, just in case there is something to it. Um, Andy is building a roof over it. Ah, okay. So let her do all this, and then right there. So you are now going to build sterile tile in the kitchen. All right, is there anything I want her doing immediately? We're not going to worry about that second wall just yet. Winter is just about done. I did see that somebody planted this. I guess I didn't set it for, you know, don't replant. So I don't know if that was a waste of time or not. Two days away from the end of winter. I'll leave it just in case. Um... Otherwise, I'm curious to see what's going to happen in the temperature here. So let's stand here for a little bit. Let her grab that pile. And she can even just drop it off and go get something to eat. I just... Oh, stop. <laughs> okay, let's haul this one now. Drop that and grab that whole stack. Oh, come on. You're trying to fill in something. Grab that one. There we go. And drop that one. Great. Go grab this meal over here. Right there. Good job. Meanwhile, 40-something, 40 44, 45, 46, 47. Yeah, that uh, made a fast recovery. So that leaving a door open when it's 20-some degrees outside really does make a difference to the, uh, the temperatures of a room. Okay, and that's why we put in the airlock in places, because the temperatures do drop pretty quickly with doors flinging open on you. Okay, Klaus is going to go talk to folks, and maybe we'll get a new recruit this time. Natalia is done making her her uh, duster. Or I think she already finished one duster, got done with the, uh, the toque. She's going to go finish this duster, which has another 234 work to it. There, is that it? Yeah, pigskin duster. Then, what else has happened? Um, with all these running, what are we doing here? 158. 159, because the solar panels are coming back. Okay, so these guys are making 1,000 on their own. So there's 4,000 more. And when I started this, this yellow was quite a bit higher. So even with this extra 4,000, we're not able to maintain. We may have some issues. 
We may. I can't run power over water. Update 1.0 will do that, but this one cannot. So we don't have that we found a steam vent on this side of the river. So we're going to have to just keep adding more solar panels if we want more power. Hmm. Which means we're probably over in here running down and punching through the wall and sending a, a main through into this stuff. Well, I'm not switched from these guys into the kitchen, so theoretically I could add to the kitchen and it would get into here then get down to the batteries, but not the ideal way to do it. Anyway, um, here's something else to talk about. Eric wrote in from last episode and said, you think maybe there's you know, kind of a possibility we have a few too many animals? <laughs> yeah, I think there's a possibility we have a few too many animals. Wild boars, 37! Wild boars, trained. Who's got training in both? Um, mad animal. Let's get into here, right here. Training in both. So, wild boar 2. He's managed to stay alive all this time. Five years old. Is worth, what? 170. And depending on Klaus's skill level in social, we're going to get a certain percentage of that. So, and then also depending on how good a price the uh, uh, particular buyer is offering as well. So, there's a potential for a tremendous amount of, of silver in the bank here if we're able to sell a lot of these off. If. So, we've got to weigh that against the cost of feeding these guys, which really isn't much in the way of cost. It's, you know, silver-wise, it's the amount of labor it takes to go out and hunt and bring in more meat to fill our fridge to be able to make more kibble and or grow more hay grass to keep up with the load until we can sell them. Or we could just eat them and save us the trouble and, you know, be able to stock some more meat into our freezer, but we're going to give up the potential for the... Uh, you know, the sale of the pigs. Another possibility, we still, even at the end of winter, have grass out here. We have very little over here. We could take a chance and assign some of them to a new uh, animal zone right here. Or up in here or somewhere. You know, send them out the edge over here. If a raid drops in, they're going to kill them all. So if a bear walks in, we're potentially going to lose some. We could immediately go out there and do our best to uh, to hunt the bear, even you know reassign them quickly to this animal zone again and call them all in and go out there and hunt it. But if a raid drops in, they could go through and just start target practicing everything because it's considered our property. So there's risk in not keeping them in a confined space, but the confined space has run out of grass. So that gets, you know, limited to the amount of hay grass we have left, which isn't very much. So yeah, we got to figure out what to do with this soon. Where's the mad animal? Jump to a local boomalo. Oh, that's never good. And you're already here. Hmm. Who's outside already? Anybody out hunting? I think I pulled all the hunters back. I have to go through the work schedule, but I think I did that. We're kind of done with the target practicing. So you're here. You are leaving that way. You're just moving. Okay. Well, Tomislav, you've got a pistol. It's going to go boom somewhere in, in our gauntlet. I know it. Tomislav, why don't you head to... You are doing what? You're just relaxing. Draft, head over to here. And you've got a decent shot to you. Sangria, you're at a six now. Character six and a pistol. Let's draft you... Send you hmm, to here for when it goes around the corner. Um, who else is around with a little bit longer shot? Cathra and Missa P, both pistols. Uh, Handy Klaus is probably in the jail. He is wearing a steel advanced helmet. Superior, 85%. And it's going to need a meal soon, though, but I think he can head over here and a fairly accurate shot for a little while. So, between you three, is that enough? So, Thomas Slob, you're going to race around. He is... This is the right one, right? Maddened? Manhunter? Not seeing the... Oh, there's the fumes. Okay. But you're going this way. Wish I knew what you were doing. Do we have any animals out here? There's no names showing up. Who are you going after? 
Okay, the Thomas I would go out to here. Yeah, I so don't want you to go boom right here. Boom. Boom and boom. Okay, come on back to here now. Okay, in that case, Sangria. You, who has a pig assigned to her? Okay, let's find him right there. You, none, you, none. X's. All of our checks are good on this column. Uh, there's another one. None. She's been busy. Working through there. There's another one. None. Boom, boom. So, otherwise, everything looks right. Yeah, I think so. No more... Okay, so that's there, and... Hmm... I don't think I'm going to assign them elsewhere at the moment. But Sangria, you could head to here. Don't know if you get there in time. But the two of you could shoot from there. Klaus is on his way in. Klaus, I want you instead to drop into here. And don't go all the way in until I pull these two out of there. But the two of you... Yeah. Now you are... Don't know where you're heading. That could be bad. If we could just... Right there. That's all we needed. Okay. You guys are... You can break in. I assume... Oh, you won't. Okay, well, unforbid you. Uh, did the trap actually go? I'm assuming it did. Yeah, rearm. So let's do something here. First of all, unforbid you. And can I manually tell you to put the fire out? Cannot. Not in the home zone. So let's go ahead and just quickly set that as home zone temporarily. Right there. And Tomasov, why don't you go do it? Why don't you put out the fire? Then you can bring in the boomalope, and we've got a little more meat. All right. So that was really exciting. Once you haul this in, and actually just get it to inside here, then I would say that you. Oh! Auto rearm. That wasn't rearm. Oh. That was just a really good shot. Okay, well. <laughs> Tomasov, why don't you clear that? And you're consuming a fine meal. Can you repair before? And yeah, do it from right there. Thank you. All right, so you are set. So if you're going to go consume a fine meal, you may as well haul this in. Yeah, you haul that in, you're going to go down there anyway. So clear home zone from that space, and we're clear. Okay, we're good. So with that... Um, something else to talk about. So that was, you know, the animals. Trying to figure out what to do with all the excessive animals. If we could get the right kind of trader, I'm assuming that's bolt goods. But let me know if I'm wrong. I'm, I know the pirates don't want them. And the combat sales, whatever that one is called, didn't want them last time. So I'm thinking bolt goods is who we want. So Lady Shell suggested that we grab our muffaloes and load them up and a whole bunch of the, of the pigs and go off and go trade and you know take take this this uh you know this pig parade all the way to the nearest town and sell them all there that's kind of an interesting idea until i looked at the world map we've got a couple of events that are sitting out here waiting to be worked on but we weren't really ready to deal with those but if we go to factions we'll see that purplish and yellowish are happy with us and green kind of hates our guts so our closest traders all the way over there um so if we were to go from here to there does that work click that okay oh right click there it is right click 18.1 days so can imagine just how much food we're, we're talking about. And boy, I'm glad that paused. You know how much what was going to be going on in the background. But um, yeah, so we're not ready to handle a trip that can actually get us to somebody who might buy from us. Though I don't know for sure that we're not allowed to travel to and trade with someone that is red. I assume that when we get there, they would immediately attack us. I've not done the trading before. So you let me know. And are you still. No, you're, you're gaining. That yellow is bigger now. Uh, 45, 46, we're gaining slowly because we're, we're using it, but we are, you know, a net gain at this point. We're at noon, been going since at least six in the morning at full speed, 
starts at four in the morning. So now we're not going to get very far ahead. Yeah. Hmm. We have a lot of auto doors now. We're not actually using them right now. There's that to think about. Let's do that. Let's, um, not forbid. What do I want here? I can't shut these down. Interesting. There's no off switch on these guys. Though I can accidentally connect them to the wrong thing. But, ah, so there's no switch on these guys. you got to be able to handle the, the power load. Aha. So we need more power, and we need it pretty soon. And on this side of the river, that's a bummer. Yeah. Or we need some exploratory tunnels. And see if we can't find a, a room with a geyser. A steam vent. Hmm. Well, that's not where I wanted to go anytime soon, that's for sure. Hmm. Well, I guess we need to take a look at all of our options. Exotic Goods Trader. Oh, thank you. Thank you, RimWorld. <laughs> that's the one we want, isn't it? Exotic Goods. I think it is. Um, let's find out. I think, um, hmm, I think we just solved our problem here. Klaus, where are you at right now? You're attempting to recruit. Let's... There's no sense of a progress bar or a number or anything to let us know when and how. Not really. Okay. Well, let's just wander here on here for a little bit. Okay. No. He's still attempting. Let's let him finish. We'll see what the percentage chance was. Almost. Auto-saving. And still attempting. There we go. Recruit fail. 4.1% chance. Now he's now he's still working on that one. Come down here and talk to these guys. Let's see what we can do. I was so hoping that this would happen. Psychic drone. Mail. Oh, we get the good and the bad. So now we'll just see what's what's next. It'll be the ugly, right? It'll be the the psychic ship. But we'll, we'll go with the good and the bad for now. All right. Let's see what's going to happen here. And do we... I think we hang on to all the dogs. I really do. All right. Yep. Lots of animals. Good. This was the right one. Perfect. And for all of you who were in the middle of typing a comment telling me exactly what kind of a trader we need, thanks ahead of time. <laughs> They've got about 3,000 silver. Boy, I was hoping for more. Now yeah, we'll see what these animals are worth. Um, wild boars. These are ours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh? Eight. Oh. Interesting. Kind of looks like we have ten wild boar number fives. I guess we have ten wild boar female eight, one years old. Ah, okay. So, and zero year olds. Okay, so here's the piglets. Let's think of it that way. So, definitely want to get rid of the piglets. And I'd say the one-year-olds as well. Uh, male right there. So that gets rid of 16 and 13. So, 29? Something like that. Right off the bat. 29 mouths just went away. Boy, it'd be great if they had hay grass to sell. They don't. But what do they have to sell? They've got Nutramine. We could grab another stack of that. We've got... Oh, I think that's a stack of 75 or a little less over here. Um, Glitter World Medicine, 125. Ouch. Okay. That's better, you know, it'd be nice to have some of that available for surgeries. I think we've got 15 in stock. We haven't had reason to do any real surgeries. Speaking of surgeries, hmm, Heart, Joy Wire, and Power Claw. Replace a hand consisting of three deadly claws. But can you use it as a hand anymore? Hmm. How do these work? I mean, can you still use a, a bow and arrow, for instance, or a, you know, a, a gun with this? I'm thinking bionic arm is what I would normally get rid or use. Um, I see we got some of these to get rid of. Let's go through their stuff and see just what they have for sale. So we can see what we have a total to... Uh, to uh, of their silver to uh, buy from or to use. You know what I'm trying to spit out. Okay, so Nutramine, 
Hmm. We're going to need 60 blue medicines just to build the six hospital beds. We need at least 60 Nutramine to replace what we're going to use. It'd be nice to have some ahead beyond that when that's all done. So let's throw in at least 75. Let's say 80. And we'll see what that does up here. Okay. Um, components are too expensive. And we've got quite a few. Again, we've, we've done a lot of uh, uh, ship chunk disassembly. So we're okay there. Glitter World, Smoke Leaf, Psychoid, Panoxicillin. I'm going to say is how that's pronounced. Um, that's used for uh, in, you know, preventing infections. Okay. Which we haven't had to deal with that much. Preventing infections from starting. So if you gave him some of this with the healing, hmm, blocks malaria, sleeping sickness, and plague. Okay, so not just infection in general. It looks like specifically those three things. Take every five days at 40 silver per. Yeah, that's that's too much for our, our budget right now. Plasteel, we have plenty of. Psychic Soothe pulser and a psychic insanity lance yes we will take that one that's what i use as my primary bug insurance as you know besides sending the boom lobes in to go boom inside of a closed room and burn them out um if we get one that's inside of a room and just starting to chip its way through into an area that you can't handle you can use that on him from anywhere in the base and he will go insane attack the other bugs in the room they will turn and attack him and you've bought yourself a distraction for a while. So that one I like to hang on to when I can. There's no point in buying these, though. We have Scyther Blades to sell. Ooh, 1100 each. 8800 worth. They haven't got it. Darn. Okay, they have a Thrumbo Horn to sell us. They've got Triple Rocket Launcher, which we have one already. Though it's not showing in a stockpile anywhere. Interesting. I wonder if that went boom when we got that that uh, mortar dropped in on us. Uh, Doomsday rocket launcher. Too expensive for us. Gold. Sold all these. So they also have this group. And that's the end of what they have. Anything here that we need. Camel hair bedroll. We need to make some of those if we do decide to go traveling. Uh, but we can make our own. So sculpture. Synth thread bedroll. Telescope. Telescope sounds interesting. There's a joy activity for us. Don't know if we can make that. I know we can make a tube television, but I don't remember reading anything about telescope in our research over there. Um, sculptures. That's all that I see that's left. So that's all we're buying from them. So if we were to sell them... Well, let's get the pigs in here first. So oh, we did. We got those and those. Anything else we want to get rid of? We're not getting rid of the... Oh, there's another male zero. Wild Boar 36, Male 0, two of them, were 37. Wild Boar, Male 0, were 71. So these have got some training, and these don't. Interesting. Anything else like that? Wild Boars. We got rid of this stack. Got rid of this stack. Anything down in here? No. Okay, well, with that, we're keeping the dogs. Ham's worth the least because of his brain damage. These guys are zeros and not trained, I'm assuming. Whereas, I see more dogs down here. Sienna is worth... Well, okay, they're all listed as the same. Though we have some 220s. These are alpacas. Okay. So these are all worth the same, despite the age. Um, age on a dog is... Where does it tell me? 12. Life expectancy. So Sienna is actually close to... Uh, to going away on us. She's 13, life expectancy of 12. So thankfully, Andy has a good mood built in because she's going to lose Sienna before long. We could try to save her through the upcoming heart attack. We'll see. I'm not willing to, to deal with losing her just yet, so we're not going to sell her right now. Otherwise, we have alpacas to sell, muffalos to sell. We're keeping all of them. Um, boomalopes to sell. These right here. Males, nine. 
Their life expectancy is 15, so we've got some time left here. Um, 899, so they've got a little over 2,000 yet available. Otherwise, that's all we're going to buy. Nothing else we want to sell, right? Uh, this group here, we have components to sell. We have scyther blades to sell. Gold to sell. We've sold all of these. And that's it. So, scyther blades. Let's add another. Or add one, add two. And that's already more silver than they have to sell us. To give us. Hmm. I think about that. I mean, to give back a whole blade, we lose the potential of a lot of silver here. I can't make it up in anything else. The only way I can deal with that is to not buy as much from them, but I kind of want all that. So, what else is there to deal with here? Um, we sell them something else, just out of curiosity. Just hit the first one on the list. Now that goes the other direction. So we've got to unsell something. I see to even us out. Um, that would be probably something in the you know, wild boar range that is of the highest price, meaning they've got the most potential training. If I were to back this off by just one, we're there. Maybe that's the way to go. Okay, we're close enough. Do I, what's the difference there? 36, 46, 56, so 22. What does the neutral mean? By coincidence? Neutral mean. You're here somewhere, right there. Uh, seven. So, three more of those. That's going the other way. I see. Yeah, close enough. Okay. Let's accept. And we will take all that. All that dropped in over here somewhere. Boom. And maybe something over here. Nope. Don't see anything new over there. So it's all over here now. And that'll all get hauled in. Along with all the silver, the psychic sanity lance, and the new telescope. Which gets installed where? Hmm. This looks like a great place. Right there. Though if I put it there, will it break this up? It might. And it might get destroyed. Yeah, but it's got to be outside somewhere. Where to put that? Back over here is under a roof. We have one spot left here and all this ugliness. That's no good either. Where do we put it? <laughs> we don't have a good place for a telescope. Let's put it that way. And will it be harmed in the weather? It shouldn't. You'd think it's got to be outside anyway. Um, it's right there. Let's install that right here. Right there, just for fun. See what happens. Okay. I did set some mining right here, see if we can get another set of batteries back there. A little more cushion for a day's charge. A little more charge in there. Otherwise, charge, we are building up over here. Good. Don't know if we have enough to make it through the night. We're already at 1,700. Um, what were we doing or talking about before that happened? Klaus was talking to Ugg, right? Yeah. And we were needing a steam vent. What I was thinking about doing was adding zone, uh, orders. Go ahead and set some mining on down like so. If we were to send these through, is there a chance we can open up into another room that wouldn't be, you know, a horrible place to go? I'm not going to get further into this edge over here, but we could take these paths out into places we would have gone anyway. Like so. i got to connect the dots here. Um, let's go ahead and do that one. Okay. So that sends them all down into those areas. Um, I guess we could just get our perimeter put in down here, but now nah, let's go this route. And we'll take this all the way to close to that, but not quite. Another pathway is actually going to be over here, so we could do that. Right there. Yeah, that looks good. And take you into about like so. Yeah, let's do those and just see what happens. And Tomasov's building over here. Let's get you working on research again. Was carpet making? Actually, let's continue with carpet making. I was thinking we could switch back over to pemmican and uh, 
uh, bed rolls where'd you go right there just to get them done but I really don't see us being able to make a trip anytime soon let's get back to carpet making that's probably the next thing we'd actually use so Tomislav work and off of construction and back into research okay otherwise what's everyone up to um Alicia do we get that going now we really do need the uh the potential Alicia I get you yeah potential for more minor break risk for more power psychic drone is is going on okay so all the guys are are feeling crazy things going on inside them um Michael for instance needs psychic drone medium it feels like someone is always just out of sight speaking to me the voice changes but the message doesn't i'm supposed to hurt people make it go away so that's what's going on in their heads right now um who is feeling it the worst negative eight klaus negative 15 okay klaus is getting hurt pretty good with that one shantigo eight rabbit 15 and Tomislav, 15. Interesting. So, but Klaus has already got a a bonus. Iron Willed. So, Metal Threshold Break is, is a much better shape. So I guess we'll just wait for the first one to get close to breaking, which is Miss B, who has nothing to do with that. So, she's grabbing a meal and she'll be fine. Okay. Um, anyway, Alicia, I did... Okay, Rabbit's no longer inspired for a shooting frenzy. That was last episode. Uh, Alicia, where did I, did I click and send you? I did. You are over here. Okay. So let's see if there's any chance we could stumble into a uh, steam geyser of some kind in the mountain. It happens. It's not happened to me very often, but it's the only chance we've got for some, some easy power. Besides finding somewhere, probably right here, to set some more solar panels up but we're not going to make it we are definitely in a negative here everything's connected right i didn't make that big mistake tell me i didn't power i did <laughs> i was really surprised that these things weren't doing the job i thought they would do yeah 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 let's give two connections to each one there 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 and there and see if what that does although it's not much compared to these. These are 1,700, so you multiply that by 6 compared to 1,000 times 4, and you see that they're not a great big boost. And I hate to put more in. That's a lot of wood that's going to go away on us. Who is still up that can quickly put those in? It is 2,100, and Handy's already gone to bed. Klaus, you are next. You are building a granite wall. No, you're not. You are putting in all these right here. Let's see if you can just come up and do a whole bunch of them. In fact, let's babysit you to make sure it gets done so that we can absorb that power all night long before you go to bed. Otherwise, through here we're sealed, we're sealed. Is this considered indoors now? It is indoors and 61 degrees. Any of these heaters up and running, which we don't even have, we have one, two, we have two of them up and running. Interesting. Two of them up and running out of a dozen and we're already in trouble for power. Yeah. Um, soon we can go ahead and turn, in fact, we can go turn those off now. Yeah, so you're going to work on those, and you're going to go to some fine meal. No, let's do this first. Let's get these done. You got silver, or you got steel right over here. Put all these in. Boom, boom. And all those, and do that. All right, so we're going to manually do this one, this one, this one, and that one. Zit, 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 and zit. All right, that good? Power, we're connected. All right, so with that, what do we have? 900. Holding. That's a good sign. Oh, wrong one. That's not connected. Uh, 197, 196, 195. Yep. Okay. Not enough power at night, but with this helping or adding during the day, maybe we'll get up high enough. But let's go ahead and get this guy shut down don't need this hopefully until next winter next winter we'll be in trouble next winter we're going to, have to figure out how to deal with this miss b you have gone probably back into this area are you still working on kibble where is miss b 
you are working your way down to flicking a switch. Okay, you flick that switch. Natalia, you are going to flick that switch and that switch. Okay, Miss P, you're going to do the one, and then you're going to tap away right here. And needs, you're in good shape. Okay. And I just did three switches, right? Pretty sure I did. All these are actually turned on. They seem to be. There's no red angry symbol next to them. Natalia's going to do that one. Miss P is going to start tapping away here. And everybody else is asleep. Nope, Catherine's heading there, though. And... Alright, that's everyone. Sangria's gone to bed. No more doors left open, so our temperature in here is 66, closer to what it's supposed to be. 65, when we see this steaming, we should see this temperature way over here. Start to go back up again. 63, where's the steam? Waiting. 62, really? Seems like it's more often than that. There it is. 63, 4, 5. We're going to hit 6, 4. That's not good. So one is not able to maintain us anymore. Now, if we got the other walls in, it might. But over here, we have more power we know what to do with. Boy, I wish we could get across here. I wish that when update one came out, which isn't going to be for a while, <clears throat> Tynan had put out a, a tweet and talked about doing far more to the game than he ever planned for this update, and they're not even but just part way done. So this is going to be probably the biggest update the game has ever seen from the wording that he had on that that uh, that that update that post. So but which means that this game save is not going to work in update 1. We're never going to be able to tap this power for over here and I see a raccoon making its way in. Where did I see that? Right over here. These guys can get through those traps fairly easy. He's just kind of wandering his way in. I think I'll set you to hunt. And maybe we'll send Natalia out here for a little bit of fun. Take him out before he raids our kibble. <laughs> Speaking of, how'd we do? We still have 78. We are in the 14th of December, and we have a raid. Yeah. And where are we? My timer's not working. My timer's not working. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to guess we're something like a half hour, 30, 35 minutes into this. So not enough to handle a raid, that's for sure. Um, raid coming in. Okay. Well, what do we actually have? Group of tribes people. A quarter of, the, of Mino attacking immediately. And in our weak spot. Interesting. I could let it go just to verify they can't make it through here. But it's probably time to wake people up and, and deal with this. Yeah. Off the top of our heads. Or, you know, just quick glances. I'm seeing pilas. I'm seeing bows. A lot of ranged in there. There's one shiv. Don't see any clubs. Hmm, mostly ranged. And most of their ranged are quick shooting. Very little warm-up time. Yeah. Okay, well, any assault rifles not assigned? Snipers? I think all the assaults are assigned. Um, let me think here. It's over here. Shantigo took off the assault rifle to go and do the hunting with something that had a single shot. Where did his go back to? Did that go on to Handy? Yeah, Handy got it now. So Tomasov has got that, Rabbit. So Klaus would have the other assault, and Michael has the other assault. Okay. Michael, oh, who's going to need sleep? And we've got the, the drone over us hitting all the guys. Yeah, this is going to get exciting. Definitely a two-parter, that's for sure. So how best to handle this? Well, I wish they weren't attacking immediately. I wish I can give these guys just another hour or two of rest. I can't. This is when we're very thankful to have the gauntlet. You know, if we can let them just, you know, hit several traps before we start dealing with them. You know, gang up right here for our major assault. 
and let the traps do a lot of damage. And then if we can just get 50% of these guys dead by traps, then they'll break and leave. Hmm. Although, you know, I can't really send people into the gauntlet until I'm 100% sure that they cannot walk through here. So I guess I've got to verify this. It sure looks like they can't. It looks like they can't. So this did work. And this is the first time after all these episodes that I've been able to really test that. All right. I think that's confirmation enough for me. All right. Send that away. And let's get everybody set up <laughs> for next episode. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the way it's got to work. Um, let's get the ladies set up first and let the guys get one more hour's sleep in. I think that's probably the safest way. Handy went to bed the first. She was the earliest. She is in the best shape. I would love to get a meal on her. Gear does not have one at all. And I can't tell her to go and take a, a meal. All I can do is consume. But a meal on her would be smart. Though she's the best shot of the ladies. And I want her there first. No, no, I can't have her breaking along with all the guys. Let's get a meal on you. Let's draft. Get a meal on you. And then come up to position somewhere. Here for, for now. We'll figure out what to do with you when you, when you get there. Um, Sangria is in better shape. Okay. Sangria, draft. You're heading to position one. And Cathra is... Well, where was Handy? Handy's, yeah, getting down toward breaking. Cathra, I think I can get you in here and start shooting fairly soon. So we'll meal you later. Gear, you already have one on you. I can send you to the table halfway through. All right, that works. Cathra, turn you off and draft. Send you to here. Natalia, you're already up. Ooh, you are already up. Needs, you're about the same as as Cathra as far as food. So, Gear, you've got a meal on you as well. Sangria, I'm going to send you to... Well, you're actually closer. Okay. Then Natalia, where are you actually standing right now? You're down there. It's going to take you a while. It is. All right, then let's put you in this position. Draft, you're going there. And... Miss P, you're up already. Fine meal on you. And needs, you're about the same as the rest of them. And you could sure stand to get out of that ugly place. So draft you and come on out to where? Hmm. Hmm. Let's, well, let's put you here for now. I might send somebody out this door. And see if we can get some of them to skip the gauntlet and make the run out here. And then bring them in just in time so they have to turn and come back and we'll stall some of them. That's interesting. Sangria, I think that's your role. You're going there. Who's left? Alicia. Oh, she's in better shape than I thought. I thought she went to bed kind of late. She must not have been very far down on her rest. Okay, uh, your food's fine too. Draft you and bring you up into this area as well. Uh, yeah, I think that's best. Now, Handy, you are going here. All right, let's just get this moving. I'm going to let the guys sleep a little bit longer because they've got the psychic drone against them. So let's get a little more rest in them. Now, we've got no animals outside. They should all be sleeping, though they may be getting up soon. So, where am I? I'm here. There I am. Okay, we have lots of kibble available. Whether or not we've got enough hay grass. In there, and in here, and no hay grass in there? No. Okay. And then we are in here with only 75 kibble. Let's send everybody into here. I think this can handle, there's enough food in here to handle what we need for this amount of time. I think. Hopefully they won't even need to be there. Um, hmm... Yeah, okay. So animals, everybody goes into the boomlip grazing zone for now. Wow, we have less animals. <laughs> we have less animals. Sangria. All right, none. 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 Everything else seems happy? I think so. 
Everything's fine there. Okay. All right. So that's the animals. Why are you guys suddenly running? What am I not getting here? Animals. Buffaloes. Boomloes. You're going to hear, but you suddenly go running away. I mean, buffaloes. Okay. Huh. And now you're resetting. Okay. That was... You were probably assigned to go follow Sangria. Oh, oh okay. All right, so you guys are coming around. There's nothing of ours outside to worry about. They may want to light this on fire. That's possible. Sangria is going to bait them to skip the gauntlet at first. Everybody else is kind of on their way to man the gauntlet, which means I'll have time to get some folks up at the beginning already. Um, dare I put somebody right at the front door? That's possible. You are pounding at a wall. You'll probably give up after a while, but that is a danger. That is a concern. Okay. Let's... Where am I time-wise? Let's go another five to ten minutes. By then, we should have everybody in position and ready to do this. And that way, next episode can be dedicated entirely to, uh, to the thrill of a raid. Yeah, so you're in place. Kathra is going two there. She's a six shot. Alicia is a five. And you are going to here. Kathra is going to there. All right. Natalia is going to get here before Handy. Handy, though, is a faster run. And she's got an assault rifle. Yeah, I kind of need her in here. Boy, I'm tempted to move one of these doors. I need them standing within three spaces of each other, and this makes four. One, two, three, four, five, actually. Or four, or something like that. So, I can't have people on both these doors. That's frustrating. Hmm. Catherine's there. Catherine, go here. Just out of curiosity. And... Handy, right? That was Handy go there. Oh. Handy, you're going... Here. Catherine, you're going there. Okay. Alright. Now, of the guys. None are up. Right. So Michael, Klaus, Shantigo, Rabbit, Tomislav. Hmm. Alright, let's look at, at sleeps. Let's look at needs. So we're good three quarters there. Rabbit, you're worse. Shantigo is better because he goes to bed earlier and gets up earlier. That tends to be his pattern. Let's get Shantigo out here. Draft uh, draft, and grab a meal right there. Consume and then get out here and probably get into this position here. Right about there. Okay. And then Klaus. Thomas Slob's a little better than Klaus. Michael is better than all of them. Grab the meal as well and get yourself in this similar position right in here so there okay and let's see here and all I want to do right now let's go a little bit longer see if we can get to four on more of them are you seriously still trying this we've got you're halfway through Dude, a Bruno, dude. Yeah, well, we got doors here. I may have to alter the uh, uh, the zone there and keep them all in this space. Hate to do that, but I see I may have no choice. And here's our raccoon <laughs> who's gotten a free pass. <laughs> okay, well, they're making their turn here. I had sent Catherine to there. I didn't send anybody to here after all. All right, so let's watch this first shot or two. You've got a great bow. No, you've got a pila. Okay. And you have got a bow, short bow. You're in the gauntlet. Okay. So, Handy, you're actually going to here now. Kathra, I think you're coming out. Yeah, you've got to come through. And Handy, you're holding position. Catherine's got to run through. He's already aiming. All right, we're fine there. So, Catherine, head down to here. 
uh, sand grid go outside by one. See if that helps here. And handy, grab this position. Okay, as soon as they make the turn, we're four o'clock. Okay, let's get the guys out here. Rabbit needs gear, no meal. Okay, Rabbit, grab a meal and then come up. Consume, find meal. And then um, pop into this area for nail. Uh, Tomislav, gear, no meal either. Needs, you're in better condition, so come on up. This might be a good place to store some of the prepackaged meals so they can grab something to eat here that's not going to rot. And leave it for a pile forbidden in here or something like that. That might be a possibility. And I set this one as a critical to grab the Molotovs and the frag grenades. And all of these are one priority less. And yet, all this time, no dog or pig has moved them. I wonder if there's something wrong with that. You know, I think that they're all able to, to reach these positions, but I don't know. Got to rethink that one. Anyway. Uh, Thomas up, yeah, you come on up. So draft and send you out into here as well. You've only got a pistol. You may be more down in here. Okay, uh, jump into this as they come down in here or something. Actually, go there. And who has not been? Klaus, you've got the assault rifle. You are in good shape food-wise, and you have a meal. Let's send you directly to this area. All of you guys are going to shoot down this length, I think. Um... Dead, everyone? I think. Alicia's here. Miss P is moving to somewhere up in here. You're heading into there. Michael, you are on your way with a meal. Natalia is here. Catherine is here. Sangria is outside saying neen or neen or neen. And uh, Klaus is on his way. Shantigo, meal. Uh, Rabbit, meal on his way. Handy is there. Tomislav on his way. All right, let's run this for a little bit, and then we'll call this done just as it gets really exciting. So, Handy, I'm kind of waiting for you guys to stop um, standing around. You are moving, standing, but nobody is aiming at the moment. All right, Handy, step in here. Let's watch this crowd and see what happens. Okay. What happened here? You, dude, standing, a melee attacking steel improvised tour. Okay, you're fine. Standing, is anybody aiming? Watching for targets, we have an aim over here. As a short bow, awful, but kind of knows how to use it. And not doing this. One person is aiming right now and can hit handy and has some skill at it. Pop out. And that is all you're going to be able to do. You're done. You're going here next. It's up to you guys now. And yeah, this is going to get a little intense. I think I'm going to stop it right here. I know. Oh, But um, yeah, what's coming is a whole episode all to itself. And I want a chance to, to look back and make sure that I didn't miss anything obvious. That you're just screaming at the, the screen right now. Don't do it. So, yeah, I want a chance to kind of look things over, make sure I've done the animals correctly and things like that. So, we're going to come right back to this spot next time. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.